The company Gunnar Christensen's Nursery was started up in 65 by my parents, Nina and Gunnar Christensen. The product we produce at the moment is uh, mainly perennials in uh, three and five liter pots. And then we do uh, flowering shrubs and eatable stuff like strawberries and um, rhubarbs and so on, and also some, uh, some herbs. So now the total assortment is around 1,200 different varieties. It's special in Denmark that we have this uh, wide range of plants. It's mainly because some clients called us and said, why don't you do perennials in small pots? Because it's nice that we can fill up the CC trolley uh, only uh, uh, buying plants from you. 95% of the pest control is biological, so it's very important for us. And we use it as a tool to selling more plants to a high value. And it's very important for the end consumer that, that they can see on the plant that they, it's, uh, we have focus on uh, not only producing plants, but uh, we think about the whole system. Some of our clients have told us that they have actually, they have got in all the predators from us on the plants. And if the plants are standing there for a few days, the predators will spread to the other plants. So they, uh, they can see they have a more healthy uh, garden center when they're bringing our plants. In the test garden, we have uh, got uh, many different plants from, uh, from the USA and other places, and they are not on the market yet. So uh, now we have time to test them, maybe two or three years before we introduce them. So we know more about these plants and our clients can come and uh, we try to inspire them to buy these plants, of course. And when they, they can see that they have survived in our garden for, for three years or two years, they get uh, more uh, relaxed about when they're going to sell it to the end consumer. When we do the potting, it's very important for us that we don't have all these uh, stops in between uh, fixing things and uh, pots are, are, are stuck to, to each other and everything. So, so when we use Ateku uh, Pippelman pots, everything runs very smoothly. So it makes us very efficient in the potting. We don't have any stops. We have many pots on the pallet, so the logistic is very efficient. When we use the vacuum pots, they have this, uh, this edge that makes it very stable. So uh, the pots, we can drive 20, 25 kilometers an hour and uh, the, the pots doesn't fall off. We have been working with uh, Pueblo Manteco for the last 10 years and we uh, were looking for a new pot that, were, that we could transport with these, uh, these forklifts. We were choosing Tego Pueblo because we could see they have a, a big capacity. So if we uh, needed to have uh, five pallets uh, delivered uh, in, within two days, we could get it. So, so we felt like in, uh, we were in, I have to say, good hands. We have started up a new brand, uh, which we're going to uh, release um, in 2019. And when we con contacted uh, Tegu Pöppelmann, uh, they were full of ideas. So we got a lot of different uh, possibilities from the design department, how we could uh, create these new pots with the logo and the name and everything on it. It was like this. Suddenly, we were having this new pot, and we can invite some of our clients and they, they can see how, we, uh, how these plants look like in this pot and these new plants look like in the, in the garden, which is behind me. Price, of course, it's very important, price today. I think it's more important that we have a reliable partner and we have uh, the possibilities of creating new things together with them. Innovative. <laughs>